Marcia Ann Cross was born on March 25, 1962 in Marlboro, Massachusetts. As a child, Marcia always wanted to be an actress, so she set out to have a career in acting. Cross graduated from the Juilliard School in New York, a naturally gifted girl. Her career began in 1984, when she joined the cast of the daytime soap opera The Edge of Night, 1956. After six months, the show ended its 28-year run. The following year, in 1985, she starred opposite Carol O'Connor in the television film Brass, 1985. Then she landed the lead role in Pros and Amp. Cons, 1986, with comedian Cheryl Lee Ralph. She kept busy by starring in The Last Days of Frank and Jesse James, 1986, with many famous figures in Hollywood, including June Carter Cash, Willie Nelson, Johnny Cash and Chris Christopherson. Marsha's career was looking up when she was cast as Kate Roberts in another daytime soap opera, One Life to Live, 1968, and as Tanya in Another World, 1964. Marcia was then seen opposite Tim Daly in the tearjerker romance Almost Grown, 1988. Almost Grown, 1988, was a television pilot that never got picked up, but is still very acclaimed to this day. Marcia was then cast as Ruth Fielding in Bad Influence, 1990, a thriller that starred Cross, Rob Lowe and James Spader. She joined the cast of Knott's Landing, 1979, an incredibly famous nighttime soap opera in 1991. After a year, she left to do work on a new television series called Melrose Place, 1992. She was cast as the psychotic Dr. Kimberly Shaw on the primetime soap opera. The show was a pop culture phenomenon, going down in history as one of the most entertaining and memorable shows of the 1990s. Marcia, who was starring opposite Heather Locklear, Courtney Thorne Smith and others, emerged as the fan favorite of the show. Then her longtime companion and fiancé, Richard Jordan, died in 1993. Marcia reigned on, starring in films like Female Perversions, 1996, opposite Tilda Swinton and Always Say Goodbye, 1997, opposite Emmy nominee Polly Draper, throughout her long run on, Melrose Place. In 1997, she left the show in order to get her master's degree in psychology. From 1997 to 2003, she continued to act regularly. She starred in Dancing in September, 2000, a critically acclaimed film, got herself the lead role in Living in Fear, 2001, starred in The Wind Effect, 2003, a disturbing film about family, and even filmed Eastwick, 2002, a television pilot that never was picked up. Eastwick, 2002, was based on the film The Witches of Eastwick, 1987, and Marcia was cast in the Susan Sarandon role. She got back into the public eye by joining the cast of the critically acclaimed television series Everwood, 2002, with Treat Williams. After a year on the show, she left it when she auditioned for a new television series, Desperate Housewives, 2004. In 2004, Marcia was cast as Brie Van de Kamp in Desperate Housewives, 2004, which went on to be a monster hit with the critics and audiences. Marcia began to be nominated for very prestigious awards, including the Emmy Award, Golden Globe, Golden Satellite Award, and a Television Critics Association Award. Marcia even won a Screen Actors Guild Award in 2005.